Hey there, welcome back to the channel Creating with Sarah. So today's video, we're gonna plan out a weekly spread in my Erin Condren Compact Vertical. This is the seven by nine, and we're finally gonna do a fall spread. So if you guys wanna join me for this planning sesh, then keep on watching. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, and keeping things fun and functional here for you. And today we're gonna plan out this week, um, I'm a little behind, so we're gonna just jump right in. And the first thing that I typically do is white out. I'm just gonna white out this calendar. We're gonna see what we can do up here. These lines are so light. I'm sure I can cover it up with washi without having to white it out. but I usually don't use this calendar at the bottom. Okay, so I would like to do a transitional spread, like back to school and into fall, but I think I just wanna do a fall theme. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a fall theme. Um, so for washi, of course I have my little tray here from last time. My office little desk area in my bedroom is a hot mess. Um, I've been busy with other things and decorating the house. So for fall, um, but anywho, the other washi that I have here, it's actually the entire tray. I brought it down when I was um, working on that little planner that I'm supposed to be starting Sunday. I can't believe it. So if you guys haven't checked out, I have a little pocket like wallet planner. Um, it's super adorable. It's a rings planner it's I think I think it said it was an a7 size it's really small and cute it's for my purse so I use some of this washi to do like a washi board kind of a dash actually dashboard um and so this is all my cute fall washi I love it I love fall it's my favorite I'm so ready for fall but we have heat here in California and it dropped down a little bit but now it's just go back in the 90s for stickers I have I was thinking, um, Shrine Sticker Studio. So I have this little booklet full of fall. Some of it is Thanksgiving, but I thought I could utilize what's in here. Ooh, I even have headers, but I really would love just the warm tones. I even have these stickers. What is this? Fall is my favorite color. Oh, AMXO. I haven't shopped from her in a long time. So these are, this album here has a mixture of different stickers, it seems like. some faith stickers from florals oh my gosh i've had this for so long this is when my oldest graduated or my oldest was in softball and she's already graduated no longer a softball mom that was so long ago uh, you may have to just save that for scrapbooking um take this out we have a coffee theme, which I'm probably not gonna do. I love these. These are clear though. I love this journaling page. This is supposed to be a Bujo Deco sheet. Both of these are. I don't know if she still do does these sheets, but I love them. We have pumpkin, we have some Thanksgiving. Oh, I love this one. This is a sweater weather Bujo Deco sheet, which we have a couple sheets left. And then I have these, which are really cute. Oh, these are cute. These are from Leonard Designs. Oh, look at this one. This is so pretty. 
Oh, I have this one, but it's for a vertical, um, a mini vertical. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna do Shine Sticker Studio, I think, because I also have this one um, that has a mixture of fall and Halloween. Of course, this is all deco. I definitely would need, oh, this is actually kind of cute, but I don't know if I want to do blue. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Oh, I have these. I'll take these out and use those, and we'll use this one. I have uh, one ton of million. Focus, focus. That's so cute. Uh, okay. So yeah, a lot of these are deco and a mixture of fall. So we'll see. I actually was gonna split this up. I was trying to organize that where it's just Halloween and fall. Okay, so I also would need more boxes. Okay, so we'll use Wrong Wrong and this rainbow sticker book for boxes. And then we'll use Shine Sticker Studio for decor. Now that I'm looking at this, I wonder if I should use these washi strips for at the top. Up here. And this is that translucent sticker. Camera's not really focusing. I don't know why. But this might be cute up here. Okay, again, my desk. Well, actually, it might be in my bag. Yeah, it was in my bag. So my scissors, my washi cutter, and then the rest of these, which are fall colors. I don't know what my camera is doing. It's actually my phone, but it's not really registering when I put it up close. So... These are some colors here that are fall-like. So I'm actually just, I brought that stuff down because um, I was working on a little project. So I haven't really, sh you know, changed my stash or anything for fall. So I'm going to do that after this video. So I can, oh man, this is not gonna fit all the way. Oh wait, I have two, two, perfect. So I'm going to do shot my stash. Oh, that's so cute. After this video. But I do have the rest of this that I could probably use for this gap. So I don't have to waste a full. That's actually really cute. I love sunflowers. For fall, I just love sunflowers. They're so pretty, especially when you go to a pumpkin patch. Okay. So we got that out of the way. Now we can... I'm going to take the rest of these and kind of cover up this white out. These are like little corners. I was gonna layer this, but like layer these behind boxes, these pieces. I think that works. So, yay, fin finished the sheet. Now we have these I could use to layer with boxes. All right, let's do our checklist first. I haven't even figured out uh, dinner stuff. Uh, checklist, checklist. Let's use, no, I think I want brown. Let me find, okay. So this is my favorite. I use these a lot, the Artist Loft. Make our checklist. We're gonna do four. I am just 
having a busy week and um, trying to get stuff done, especially I'm trying to get the house organized and everything set for fall. And then I'm also taking online classes. So I'm a little overwhelmed with like my new schedule and with the kids starting back. So in this video, I also want to kind of put in a clip of a little haul because I've been busy with that and I wasn't quite sure with my channel and what content I provide, how to go about that. So I thought it would be fun to share it with you. Um, so t technically today's Tuesday. So Monday yesterday, I took time to go fall shopping. So I'm gonna insert a clip now for you guys to watch a brief clip um, of the things that I hauled for fall. This is everything that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I couldn't resist these cute little adorable squirrels. There's actually three. One of them is in a, a sunflower or acorn. I think it's an acorn. I probably will pick that one up because they're just so cute. I just love little squirrel. I love little figurines like this, but this one says be thankful. He's little He's in a little pumpkin. This one's my favorite. She's so cute. I mean, I don't know if they're a boy or girl, but she looks like a girl. And she's holding a little sunflower. And I just love the color tones. I'm going for like reds, yellows, and orange with a little bit of brown and green. So I just think these are really darling. And there's a third one that I'm probably gonna pick up. Okay, and then for pumpkins, they had like these cute plaid ones. There was three different types. They had like a green and then I think a blue and red tone. I really like the orange. Again, I'm trying to pull more oranges. And these things are a little pricey for what they are, you know. It's like a little crafty thing. But everything was 40% off. So this was $4.99, 40% off. These were $8.49 or something like that, 40% off. Um, so I love this little squishy pumpkin. This one actually was like, I feel like it was sold in a trio, but you know, you could buy it individually. It has like faux leather, sort of, or maybe not this one. It gives that vibe, but, but the brown one did that said fall feels, and then they had a white one that said stay cozy or cozy something. Um, but they all three went together but I just got the green and it says give thanks and this is like a leather tag. So I got that and this was $5.49. Then I got this little um, apple sign and I like the, the red plaid around it, trying to stay with the theme. Just gotta figure out where to put this. Um, and then I got chargers. I don't have this color and these weren't part of the 40% off sale. This is everyday price of $1.99 and I got five and they're already on my table. I just wanted to show you guys that, that they have a new pretty like burnt orange color. In the craft section, I got these fuzzy little pumpkins and these little acorns. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I'm thinking about I don't have like the cute tear thing, so I don't necessarily think I need it, but I'm thinking about finding a small one, and I, that's what I was thinking about putting together when I got these items, but we'll see if I can even find one. But I'm sure I can figure out what to do with these if I don't use them. Again, these were 40% off, and I love the little pumpkins. Those are so cute. Okay, next I picked up just some kitchen towels, um, a set of the orange and white. These were $9.99, 40% off. So these are just really great for wiping off the counter a whole lot um, from like washing dishes and things. And then I picked up some decorative ones. So they have like these beautiful dish towels in a different color way. Um, they have brown, green, red, and orange, I think. And the brown is really pretty. Again, I'm trying to go for some brown and then I'm layering it with this towel, which this is definitely soft. This is that printed, it can be a little rough on the hands because it's a printed towel. So this is just definitely decorative. So I got two of each for my kitchen because that's the color tones that I'm going with. And then lastly, um, I got this. I actually need to get another one, this little, 
riser. This was only $4.99. That's a good deal. I feel like Hobby Lobby has better deals as far as fall things and they have a more of a selection. Some of it can be redundant, but a lot of the things were new to me, I guess because I haven't really shopped for fall items in quite some time. And I just liked what they had more than at home or Walmart. Um, my Walmart honestly doesn't have much at all. But anyways, okay. Last, I got this vase. This was separate. So I put this arrangement together. So these are all picks that they have individually. So um, I love this arrangement that I put together. It's just very organic. And I love all the texture and the colors. So those are all individual picks. And um, then I got this little vase. This was only $6.99 with 40% off. So I love this. I love the clearness of it. And I'm hoping to get maybe another one because it's so pretty for the price. So this is going on my counter. And I love that. So that's pretty much everything that I got at Hobby Lobby. Okay, next, really quickly, um, I got some things at the Dollar Tree. So I try to go through their picks and pick out the nicest looking ones and that go with my um, decoration. So I really like this one. Again, I really like things that have like texture and like the pumpkins and things on it. And I love the leaves. Doesn't look too... I don't know sometimes foliage can look really cheapy and i feel like this looks decent so and then i also picked up i have some of these from last year and i like the orange um all right is this gingham or checkered um anywho i needed to pick up more so that way i have um a mix here in my kitchen and then i also got these these are going to go on the back wall of my kitchen Hopefully, that's what I have in mind. Um, everything's $1.25 now. So I got these. Um, I think they're really cute. So this one has the kitchen conversions. And it kind of looks like a cutting board. And then this one says gather and be grateful. And it has like that same gingham or checkered, whichever. And it has the same color palette. So I think that's nice. And then for my, oh, last thing from Dollar Tree, I got these lights. Um, they're just leaves. $1.25. And then from Michael's, I had um, vouchers, so I needed to get some ribbon, and I got brown. And then I got this cute little glass. I love the leaves printed on it. A little pumpkin there. And then lastly, I got this little basin jar with it's already set for me and that's kind of what I did. I'm gonna show you my last couple of bits of things that I got from at home and I basically just bought a bunch of arrangements, pre-made arrangements from there because if you're looking for pre-made arrangements, at home has some really great ones for a good price. So this one was, um, let's see, $14.99 but it was 50% off. So I think it was like $7.49 or something like that. That's a good price. I wouldn't pay $14.99 for that. I think this was $2.49 with 50% off. It was like $4.99. Yeah. So that's everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree and Michaels. Okay, lastly, um, these are the arrangements that I picked from at home. So look at this one. This one's so cute. It's got a glass container. And um, you can actually add more in here because it's got that green foam that floral green foam that um that you can actually add more picks if you wanted to or take these out but this was only $3.99 and I bought these to go either on the second floor or in our bathroom just for a pop of color pop of fall I really don't have a whole lot to cover the whole house because normally I do Halloween more this year I'm not really doing Halloween um I want to do more fall so these are going to go either in the bedroom or bathroom look at this pumpkin one it's like a velvet pumpkin with the little florals on top you've seen those arrangements where they have like real pumpkins and they put florals on the top so this one was $4.99 these right here that were $3.99 they had other selections and then this one was $4.99 so these are quite smaller too arrangements they're not really big arrangements but 
I like this one with the basket, the chicken wire basket. This one's also $4.99 and it just goes with my colors. And um, I was like, I'm gonna try to find some pre-arrangements for the bathrooms mainly. And then, yeah, just to stick something in the bathrooms or the hallways. The last things I got, I'm looking for rugs and um, I picked up two of these. These were $9.99 and I'll share some photos of other selections they had if you're looking for rugs for fall at home has some good ones um they have the orange the red and the sage green and then they have some printed design ones and then the next place i would go to is hobby lobby they have like a some browns and a mustard yellow color but these are really large so i have two of these one for my front door and one for my back door so um, i'm still looking for our kitchen because i have rugs I have a rug under my fridge and then where the sink is. So those are smaller. These are quite large. They're supposed to be for that new trend, <laughs> which I don't really do. The outdoor rug and then you layer this underneath it. I just need one. I don't need two. <laughs> I have like a my outdoor scratchy pumpkin for the front door, but this is going to go on the inside when people walk in. So I have two of these for $9.99, which I think is a good price. Um, so yeah, that is my quick little home decor fall haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that clip. Um, I just got a lot of great things and I'm so excited because I feel like this year I'm gonna go all out with fall. I really don't have a lot of fall decor. I usually just do a small portion of it downstairs and I used to do my office, um, but I'm trying to work on like the bathroom, the mid floor, and then a little bit in my master bedroom just a little bit of things because I think I'm skipping over Halloween this year but when the week of Halloween I may bring out a couple of things we'll just see but I think I'm just wanting to enjoy fall more than Halloween I know that's a first for me so anywho um so we got our checklist I'm gonna put some boxes down for oh I wish I had more of these decorative ones um, I'm going to put boxes down for the things I know I have. So, Friday we have dance. And then today, actually I should put here, my daughter got back from her little weekend vacay. And then... Here I'm doing drop-offs, so I'm just going to use these for drop-offs. Um, my husband's finally trying to go back in the office more, usually after COVID happened in his position that he could do everything from home, but we're trying to transition into going back into the office. It's just a little hectic because we only have two cars, which my daughter has... My oldest has the other car and I have a car. So I'm having to do a lot of drop-offs and pickups. So we're in trying to get that schedule and system down until we can get a third car. It's just, again, <laughs> right in this beginning of this semester or this season it is been a little hectic for me. Okay, I'm gonna add another, I'm just gonna add all three of these here and then leave this small section for dinners. I should add this over here. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this sticker. I am trying to use up my stickers is the goal. I think for dinners, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna use this over here as a list of dinners because I can't really schedule it all the time because everyone's schedule is quite different. And then when I'm going to pick up my husband, it's a little hectic. So let me just move this over a little bit so I have room to make a list over there. Okay, cool. So another sheet out, and then I have this last one. What should I use this for? Okay, use it for Saturday. And I'll turn it this way so maybe I can get more space. Perfect. Okay. Just 
any more boxes do i have anything this could be used as a box honestly we'll do that i'll just leave that out for decor if i need it i have these smaller ones i well, i have one or i have two oranges I was thinking about putting them up here for um, my daughter's schedule. I don't know if I want to concern myself with that right now. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't want to mess up a kit either. I could use this as a box and right here. I'm gonna put this on Thursday. take this frappuccino which I think Starbucks was that actually on Monday oh, let me move this over if I can these are really oh shoot nope they're not removable so that's going to stay like that. I'm just going to take that out. Let's see if there's anything in here. I definitely need to put these in my mini. Wow. <laughs> I shopped three times. And I hope my phone is working. I don't know why it's like not focusing when I bring something up to the camera. Oh, is this a sticker? That isn't a sticker. This is, oh, these are cute. See, this is so unorganized. This is like in the mix of things. Okay, maybe we'll just use some boxes, but I need to leave those open. Okay, I think I should go with um, because I would love brown. I don't think I have brown in here. I think there's... Gold. Okay. Thought there was brown. Okay. Um, I think we could use these. It's like a tan color.
I like how everything looks so far. I just need to have a box for um, Sunday. I'll do this orange color. I am going to write in the plans and then um, finish probably decorating, but yeah. So this is what it looks like so far. I think it's really cute. I like the idea of using these larger stickers to write in things. So we'll see what I'm gonna write in. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and write in the plans. Okay, friends, I've written in the plans and the things that I know that's going on. I don't want to put too much because um, I'm still early on in the week and then I can always mark it out and move it on to the weekend or maybe just Friday. But a lot of these to-do lists for my list I want to get done. And then I didn't put down pick up because I'm not sure. Usually she forgets and she'll text me and say, no, it's actually this time. So I'm just going to wait and let them text me. Um, what time to pick up and I already have put today what we're having today what I'm gonna cook we're just gonna do crunchy tacos but like the Dorito ones um, with rice and then what I have left on my uh, meal ideas is orange chicken and rice and then a breakfast nice a breakfast night is what Charlotte had requested She's my picky eater, and she just has like a really small list of things that she eats. And she loves breakfast. I love breakfast too, but her breakfast is not the same as mine. <laughs> Hers is pancakes, eggs, and bacon. Like traditional breakfast, which is good. I mean, I love any breakfast. Maybe we'll do that either Wednesday or Thursday is what I'm thinking. That's all I have. Of course, all this I did yesterday, so I'm going to check all this off. Um, the pens that I used um, for the stickers, for like writing on the boxes, I went with this zebra um, dual-ended like permanent marker. It has a fine tip and a medium, like a really fine tip. And then a medium tip. This is more like um, the Sharpies, but it's a little finer than the Sharpie ones. And then the flare I used for over here. I actually messed up the swatch. I kind of like went slanted uh, because I think the, the zebra one would probably bleed, bleed through. So I used the flare, double ended flare brush, paper mate pen. And then uh, for my checklist, I'm using the Zebra Sarasa R in a 0.5, which I really, really like because it's super, super dark and smooth on the Erin Condren paper. So I really, really have been enjoying this pen. And I did add a little bit of stickers. Um, I added these chore stickers I'm trying to use up. Nicole Hutch Designs. So I have trash day, cleaning, shopping. And then I use these asterisks for dinners. Um, and the little TVs. I'm trying to wrap up the bachelor, the bachelorette. Not really my favorite. I feel like it went by really, really fast. Um, I've just been watching that show for a long, long time. But yeah, the seasons are kind of getting weird now. Like, I don't know. So for me, because it's on Hulu, I can only catch it on Tuesday and Wednesday, but it came out Monday and Tuesday. So these stickers actually um, were gifted to me. I really, really like them. They're super cute. And that's all I have. So the first four days of this week or the first half of the week is going to be really busy. I'm hoping to like keep it chill because of me having class now and homework and stuff. I just don't want to be overwhelmed with things. Um, but on this sticker here, I actually looked it up. I, it was over the weekend when Starbucks, they, um, did, it was like the 22nd. It was like last Thursday. So I just put start um, fall decorating, which I am currently. 
if I have anything to put extra down. These are a little big. These are the journaling ones. I think I would have to use the smaller ones. Let's see if there's anything on this sample. Notes, I could use this for, should I put that over here? We have leaves and a little acorn. I honestly could put this anywhere. Just filling in the white spaces. I have this little one with her and the deer. I could put right down there and then add the little leaves and flowers just again anywhere and put this on the pumpkin i think that's cute and little mushrooms i noticed there's a lot of mushroom decor lately even for pics i think they're cute but i'm just not into the whole mushroom with decor I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna wrap this up, this plan with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, that's all I have for today. And if you did, uh, I definitely would appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to join this channel. And I will see you all in my next video. I do have plans for um, a fall haul of stationary items. I finally got my Simply Gilded um, Halloween. I haven't purchased anything from her Hall Halloween collections. This one was really cute. I went a little overboard. Um, so I'll have that plenty thing and then sweet quiet design, I think. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope you'll stick around and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye.